G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and I'm here with Lock and Gemmel, um, fellow Embarcadero MVP. Uh, Lachlan is uh, heavily involved in um, the Australian Delphi User Group and a uh, organisation called the T Continuity Group. Um, so I just thought, do you want to start talking about ADAG and yeah, sure. uh, what you do? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, well, I'm actually the current president of ADAG. Uh, I've been for yeah. about two years now. Um, ADAG is a national organisation promoted, uh, dedicated to promoting Delphi in Australia and serving the interests of uh, Delphi users in Australia. Uh, we have chapters in Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, Adelaide, Perth and Brisbane. And uh, yeah, we uh, meet monthly in each of those cities. Did I say Adelaide? I hope I said Adelaide. Very cool. <laughs> Adelaide yeah. as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we meet monthly in each of those cities. And uh, we also have an annual conference which we hold in two cities, uh, always in Melbourne, and the second city rotates uh, between sort of Canberra, Brisbane, and uh, Sydney. Yeah, it's the ADAG uh, Symposium. Yeah, Autumn and Symposium, yes. Yeah, yeah. normally late March? Is the... Normally late March, next yeah. year's going to be a little bit later. Okay. Yeah. So I hope to be able to make this one, I wasn't able to make. Uh, this yeah. year's I was very disappointed uh, that I was not able to attend, but anyway. Um, and I think uh, uh, it's, if you're uh, outside Australia, it's also a good opportunity to get a sort of tax deductible uh, uh, trip uh, to Australia if you're um, able to do some sightseeing while you're here as well, then so be it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we always, get, we always try to get good local speakers, uh, someone from Embarcadero, and also uh, find someone from international to fly in. We uh, fly in and uh, speaker. So we had Brian Wong last year, who was an excellent speaker. Yeah, so, I was, was going to do this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and to, to tell, us, tell us a little bit about the um, Continuity Group. Uh, yeah, the Continuity Group is a, a business that myself, uh, Matthias Burbach, and Steve Arena uh, founded. Uh, myself and uh, Matthias Burbank were both independent Delphi developers running our own businesses for many years. And uh, Steve Arena is uh, the most well-known Delphi reseller in Australia. And the three of us sort of teamed up together because we sort of, uh, well, we thought there was a, a need in the Delphi community for a business that would help other Delphi companies uh, ensure the continuity of their projects. Um, Unfortunately, in any gathering of Delphi programmers in Australia, uh, there is a lot of uh, grey hair in the room now. Uh, experienced people are invaluable, but there just aren't enough 20 and 30 year olds around in any gathering yep. of Delphi programmers. So we're hopefully providing a service which is a bridge between those experienced Delphi programmers and the next generation. So uh, programmer, Delphi programmers who are running their own business or one or two Delphi programmers in a company, and the company's wondering, okay, so these guys may be retiring soon, what are we gonna do? We're providing services which help them bridge that gap. Uh, we uh, services, which one which we're calling Knowledge Arc, which we uh, conduct a series of interviews with the, uh, the programmers, which we try to extract as much knowledge out of their heads as much as possible with the, the software, so that can be passed on to the next generation of uh, programmers who work on that system. Yeah, obviously, these guys have been working on these systems for 10 years or so. Uh, there's a lot of huge investment in there. Yeah. 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 And um, we're helping them plan for the future. And also, besides that, we're um, providing development services uh, where needed. And it's not only, I suppose, the, the people you know, with grey hair, but uh, you, you can, um, any developer could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Um, yes, yeah, definitely. And I think it's, it's um, only fair to your users that you have some sort of succession plan. Uh, in yes. place, whether you have your repository in the cloud and is then accessible by um, someone that you nominate mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to be able to take over at some later date. But even even if you do have the access to the source code, if you're suddenly uh, confronted with two million lines of source code, uh, that's <laughs> you want to be able to. And the, the boss and says, "I need this changed. Yes, yeah. I need this change. I need to change this week." Uh, and you look at it and go, well, you'd be lucky we get it in two months because this is <laughs> a monumental thing. I don't know what I can touch safely and what I can't. So, yeah, uh, yeah there's. Uh, we have confidence that Delphi is going to endure in the future, but uh, here in Australia at least, uh, we need more 20 and 30 year old Delphi programmers, and uh, 
we're trying to uh, uh, bridge that gap and uh, make companies who have invested in Delphi uh, feel confident that there is a way forward and uh, that uh, there will be a path of programmers for their, uh, to continue their software. So do you um, sort of help also with um, getting people you know, using, using version control and unit testing and more modern programming techniques? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, because, um, uh, well, I, I, I don't want to uh, speak badly of the existing Delphi programmers, but they uh, have been working a certain way for a while and may not be up to date with the latest techniques and so on, so uh, we uh, introduce them to techniques, we don't force them on them, but we introduce them to techniques, and um, particularly if they're Maybe they're a single programmer who is going to start working in tandem with us. Uh, then things like distributed version control become key, and uh, uh, then yeah, that's something we can bring into the project and teach them how to do this. And uh, we'll both enable them working with us, and also uh, we'll be happy to enhance their development processes once they start to embrace it. Excellent. Um, do you have a website? Uh, we do. It's nothing super impressive at the moment, but it's um, www.tcontinuity.com. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we played on the uh, the company name is the Continuity Group. We played on the, the T and so on with our domain name for yeah, <laughs> T Continuity. Um, very so, very Delphi. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of our it's our in joke because uh, our customers know what it is, but sort of other people uh, are a little bit puzzled by it. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. We, you sort of regret it to a certain extent because you forever spelling your email address <laughs> out to people. <laughs> it's not not tea. Yeah. 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 Nothing to do with beverages. Mm. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything else you'd like to finish up with? Uh, oh no. Just that if you're a, a Delphi programmer in Australia. Um, uh, or, or New Zealand. I mean, I've, or I've New Zealand. Or Zealand. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, ADUG is a very valuable organisation to join um, and monthly meetings, we'd love to see you at your local chapter. Um, and at the uh, New Zealand, uh, monthly meetings are a bit of an ask, but, <laughs> but come along for the autumn I'll, symposium. Yeah, I, I'll definitely uh, do my best to get, yeah. get there this year. Excellent. Um, um, next year. Um, okay, well, thank you all. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay.